Gentlemen, welcome back. So, some of you guys have been asking for a update video of the Horde, and I figured I would do this video just because I haven't done one in a while. But uh, there's a few things I want to touch on. The first of them being, I do have a separate channel up. There is a few videos on it. It is tentatively called Hank's Vacuums. And it's going to focus on, you know, more like the vacuum related videos or fans or, you know, like more of the more quirky or niche type of uh, things that some people are interested in. Next to my lawnmower videos, uh, the vacuum videos are really popular as well, which has really surprised me. So I figured I'd try my hand at doing a separate channel uh, for more technical type of videos on vacuums or really any other small consumer appliance or electronics um, but we'll see how it goes if not I'll just end up all uploading all those videos onto my main channel and we'll go from there but the link to that is in the description box so if you care to check those out or subscribe go for it if not keep watching so I have sold a couple mowers uh, those two gray craftsmen's which I believe were the most recent uh, lawnmower videos I did, minus the uh, front tine mower. Uh, those have been sold. This is the time of the year for me in my area where they just don't really sell all that well. Both of those lawnmowers, I had them up for about two to three weeks apiece, and uh, I only sold each one for 80 bucks. Normally, when the market's picked up, I can get at least 125 for those. Uh, a decent running lawnmower with a bag that's in good condition. Typically it'll fetch me around 125, maybe 140 if it's newer. Um, but typically during those times of the year I average about 100, 100 bucks on any lawnmower that I sell. Some of them will be around 80 if they don't have a bag, others will be higher than 100. But 100 seems to be the average number of what I can get for them. So those have been sold. Um, the front tine mower, I've actually just lubed up all the chains on it. Unfortunately, I don't have the chain cover for this. I was not, I did not see one when I picked this thing up. So the uh, uh, co-worker is actually going to be buying this from me. He's supposed to come and get it tomorrow. And I only have a couple things left to do with it. These lawnmowers, being that they're all metal, they vibrate a lot. A single cylinder motor on top of, you know, a big heavy duty lawnmower deck like this, they vibrate a lot. So what I was going to do is take some of this duct tape and most of the noise comes from the basket. And as you guys can see, because of the vibrations, it kind of wears, uh, it wears into it. You can get new ones of these or you can make your own. It's not all that difficult, but for the time being, I'll throw some duct tape around it and uh, kind of cushion it a bit. I'm also going to throw some duct tape around the main bar right here for the basket and uh, that'll quiet it down some as well. But this thing runs great. I just did a cold start on it and uh, it's pretty much ready for him to come and get it. So he's already paid me for it. I just, I'm waiting on him right now. So he should enjoy this thing. It's definitely a nice lawn mower really heavy duty and he's uh he's literally putting in a putting green in his backyard so he's gonna he's gonna love this for that but on the flip side i've also got this echo blower partially taken apart i do need to buy some new parts for it it does need a new gasket on top of the tank as well as i don't know if the, it needs a new carburetor or if it needs to be rebuilt i did replace this fuel line that's right in there it's only got one fuel line going to it. Very simple. Too bad they can't make them like this anymore. Oh, and I was going to uh, charge this up so I can get you guys a romping video on the quad, but I don't have the charger for it here. At least I don't know where it is. So that's, uh, that's in the pipeline. <clears throat> you guys will also get a video on that blower as soon as I get it going. Uh, there's really not much in here in the way of projects. Uh, this motor, some of you guys might remember this, I just need to take it off of the stand because I just need to clean it, throw some degreaser on it, clean it some more, and uh, I found a table that it's going to work perfectly on. It's just 
you know, this hasn't been a priority, so I haven't bothered with it. But this engine stand's taking up space, so I need to get that uh, block off and take this thing apart and put it away. And it looks like the dad put the leaf blower up with all the other crap, but I've been using that here quite a bit. Not really too many changes here. I don't remember if I made a video on this, but this is a uh, manual push sweeper, and it works really well for picking up bigger debris. Still need to take these catalytic converters in. Haven't done that yet. The John Deere is working perfectly. It does have that uh, trademark Kohler smoke on startup because you know it seems to be a common issue with these based on what I've read. The valve guides just, you know, they let a little bit of oil leak past them, and it's not really a huge deal, but that's uh, where that little bit of smokey comes from. All I've been using it for lately is just moving the trailer around and helping the dad with his uh, ham radio antennas. But this thing's uh, been working good. I am going to do a full service on this before the grass grows back. Do it, or I should say the seasonal weeds. Some of you guys don't realize that this isn't exactly grass, but it's just seasonal weeds and it's all dead right now. I'm going to have a review on this at some point but I've really been liking it. I've still got the Ranger. Uh, it just worked out that I was in the right place at the right time and picked this thing up. This thing, you guys will remember a video I did on this, I think, or maybe it was uh, featured on, in another video. I got a new carburetor diaphragm gasket for this. I uh, haven't put it on just yet. I know this thing runs. It doesn't run all that well. So that diaphragm gasket should fix this. One problem I'm having with this thing is finding a bag for it. This company doesn't appear to be around anymore. Uh, I did see some references to a uh, company called Billy Goat. They, I, I guess they make these, I don't know if it's the model name or if it's the company name, but there's these Billy Goat lawn, uh, lawn vacuums that do the same thing as this one. And I don't know if this company was bought out by them or became them or just changed their name. I have no idea. But long story short, I've been having a hell of a time trying to source a bag for this thing. So I might have to uh, kind of jury rig one together off of another yard vacuum. But the biggest problem I'm going to have is not the bag, but it's going to be the opening. So I need to find, if I can't find a bag, I'm going to have to basically make one out of the material that these bags are made out of and uh, hopefully I can get this thing working in that way but this would be really nice and handy to have out here the dad's already expressed interest in it for cleaning up a lot of the crap and debris that just gets left in this area but I don't know how well these things do with uh, smaller particulates like dust or you know dirt I know they do fine with mulching and leaves and stuff like that but smaller stuff like dirt cat litter I don't know. We'll have to see. Would like to get it working. And then here is the state of the hoard. Has dwindled down some. I do have a few that I want to work on and get going, but just the way the market, how the market is right now, there's not really much of a point in doing so. So the, the ones that I can sell for the most amount of money would be the self-propelled ones. So I haven't really touched these all that much, but I knew, I'm knew i pretty sure both of these have compression. Now this Honda, I am going to have to replace the carburetor on it again, then I'm probably going to end up selling it. Uh, I don't use it, so it's going to probably, probably go out the door. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I might end up selling it or using the motor on something else and keeping the deck. I just really don't know yet. This one's just going to be for parts. I think this is an older MTD. Murray MTD, same thing. I have another one of these snappers, as you guys can see, but again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. It does need a good amount of work, and I'm going to have to source parts for it, like the mulching cover or, you know, if I want to make you know more money on it, I'm going to have to source a bag or all the stuff that goes for that. But we'll have to see about this. I'm not too sure. 
this one I just saved for the deck. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of the motor, putting the motor up on the shelf. The shopping cart has been turned into uh, the bag holder. Probably going to end up throwing this Troy belt away. These are really not worth anything. Same with that little Craftsman blower. But still want to make my own pressure washer at some point. Still haven't gotten to that yet and finished that or mess with that some more. I have all the parts to mess with it, but I just haven't had the time. This thing I did get running, but it doesn't want to run properly. And it's got one of those Chinese copycat power more motors on it, which I'm really not a fan of. So I haven't messed with this one too much. I don't even know that I have the bag for this. I might. And some of this other stuff like that, uh, this yard vacuum, the bag itself I was only able to find for like 200 bucks. And I'm not kidding, the bags for these are expensive, and you can only, I was only able to find them through Sears. I think I did find some listings on eBay for them, and they were slightly cheaper, but not cheap enough for me to justify it. And again, these are a very niche item. So I'm probably just going to end up taking the wheels off of this thing, taking some of the accessories, maybe the handle and you know everything else, and the motor obviously, but getting rid of the rest of it. Uh, this John Deere, I still need to get a recoil for it and replace the bag, but haven't got around to that yet. Both of these two craftsmen's, <laughs> they, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I'm probably just going to put a couple Briggs on them or something. I know I've got an extra one sitting up on the shelf that should work on that one, and that one has the bag right on top of it, so should be okay. And then the rest of these I just haven't really messed with. This is that Honda that I showed you guys. This thing runs, but I do need to clean the carburetor out on it. Both of these lawnmowers have deck issues, so I was going to take the motors off of these, take the wheels, and scrap the rest. Um, both of them have the same issue. You can see the deck on this one's tweaked. So this one has deck issues too. I think this one's kind of warped somewhere, like they ran over something. But it is what it is, and that's kind of the uh, state of the horde, so to speak. So we'll have to see uh, just where I'm going to go with a lot of this. I would like to get this going, um, but I have about three or four of these, and for whatever reason, the used market for edgers, McLean, or power trim, or any of the other higher end ones, it's just not all that good. I mean, I'd be lucky to get 60 bucks for one of these, or 80 bucks, and, you know, that would be fine, but just, there's not very many people looking for them compared to lawnmowers, so they don't, they've never sold all that well, but I do sell them from time to time. Now, let's see what else i got here to talk about. I think we're just about good for this Vidya. The dad's pressure washer is still working pretty good. And uh, let's see. Surprisingly, I got a lot of views on this works. Uh, I don't know. It's not real. It's not a real pressure washer, but. It is a little bit better than a garden hose. A couple complaints here and there, not a surprise. Not a surprise there. I still do want to do a couple tool reviews and I want to do a stress test on this, just haven't had anything to use it on yet. And uh, I want to do a test on this, this Dremel Sawmax. But again, haven't had the uh, need for it. So I haven't really bothered going any further with that, but this is kind of a long-winded video already. It's going to be a little bit for me to edit, but I think that's going to be about it for this video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys got some, some stuff to look forward to, and uh, hopefully in the coming months, you guys will get a lot more material and content, but until then, you all stay classy.